Hi folks and welcome to the channel and in this video we're going to take a look at the different routing options in Urgritone drums, Urgritone drums and how we set them up in Studio One. So let's check this out. I've not done a video on how to set the routing up, any of the videos I've done for Urgritone drums, so I thought, you know what, let's do a video of setting or showing the different routing options and how to set them up in Studio One. Now, for actually setting them up, it's pretty much the same across all the different drum VSTs. And there is two ways of doing that, and I will show both ways. As you can see, I have got Drums Against Humanity up, but the basic principle is the same whether it's these or whether they're using any of, uh, or whether they're using Ergotone drums. We've got all these different options here. As you know, most of the time I've just shown it on the Mega Mix, but we'll, we'll go through all of them. Uh, these two are going to be slightly different, but I will show you why when we get to them. So in a minute, we've just got everything going through one stereo output. So yeah, that's pretty much standard. Everything going through one stereo output. To me, that's where you'd want to be when, when you're writing a track and perhaps just sort of recording the uh, the demo for it. So next, we're going to need three channels. So we've got one for the close mics, one for the overheads, and one for the rooms without any of the other channels on. Yeah, as you can hear, we've just got the close mics. So how do we set it up? Like I say, there are two ways. The first way is you come down to your mix window and there's this piano button here. You click that, as you see, Drums Against Humanity. All you do is expand that and then click whichever outputs you require for the channels. Or you can do it within the VST itself. And there's this little button here, if you just over it, hover, if you just hover over it, it says outputs and it gives you the same option i've been using this one i've just discovered this one here <laughs> oh about a year ago so yeah i've been using this way of doing it for the last year or so and then you just select the output so there you go as you see it's giving us the extra channels so like we say on this one we've got cloaks overheads and the rooms So next down, we've got one for the close, two for the fire room, hell, overheads and room. So we're going to need five. And next, we're going to need an extra one. We're going to need six. So we've got bass drum, snare, toms, shells, overheads, cymbals and the rooms. There you go, just got another one added there. That's the one for the tums. So as you're expanding, that, expanding the channels out, you can do a little bit more processing on each channel. So this next one, this is where we get a bit different on this one. So this one has got shells, it says one to seven, symbols on eight, rooms on nine. So normally you think, right, we've got, Nine there. So as you can see, we've got the uh, all all the shells there, but actually, where are the symbols and overheads? So if we go into the mix window and click on to routing, because on this program we have got extra tom, they're taking up more of these channels. So. Actually, all the toms go up to channel 10 for the individual ones. And for the symbols and room mics, they're on channel 11 and 12. So we need to add 10, 11 and 12. But that's just because we've got them extra toms. If we were in Urgritone drums, then it would be set up like that. I'm not sure if the guys 
have updated this on Drums Against Humanity or not. But that's that one. To me, it'll be pretty much the same. So I think we'll need to add an extra channel here for channel. Symbols on 9 and rooms on 10. Symbols are on 11. Overheads 12, rooms 13. And they've got separated the hell and the fire mic. So actually, we need 15 channels. Like I say, that's because we've got these extra tums. <laughs> And then, last but not least, the Mega Mix. And all we do, like I say, is just add that extra channel and then everything has got its own output, which is the one I generally use. And then mix as appropriate, set the levels, panning, etc. And then I'll also label these up rather than just having them as outputs so i hope you've found this video useful and uh, yeah let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments and if you want to grab yourself some evil wizard merch there's a link to the merch store down in the description <laughs> but that's all from me folks i'll catch you in the next one <laughs> Right, folks, I hope you enjoyed that video. You can follow me on social media and you can get my music online. And if you want to support the channel, there's uh, Buy Me A Coffee and PayPal links. They're all down in the description. Click up here to subscribe and click the link down there for videos that you may not have seen. Keep it loud and keep it heavy.